Nerds, welcome back to Ultra Unknowns. I'm right back here where we left off in the last tutorial of how to start up the 737. So I'm going to be showing you how to set up the autopilot for your flight. So once you're ready to go, let's jump right into our cockpit again here. Okay, so to set up for your flight, you want to set your altitude as normal. My cruising altitude for this flight will be 23,000 feet. Let's arm our flight directions. Okay, using the FMC is actually really simple. All you've got to do is click the root button. Sometimes it'll be a flight plan, most of the time it's a root button. Or you might get a direct waypoint one that you might be using. Anyway, my origin here is KM. CO, so Kilo Mike Charlie Oscar, which is Orlando International Airport, and I'm going to be going to Kilo Delta Foxtrot Whiskey, which is Dallas, and I'm going to go to, I'm just going to make up a flight number here and go AA333, actually no, let's go set a uh, devil's number, 666. Okay, and then I'll execute my flight plan there, and you can see this white line has appeared, ready to go. Okay, once you've got that logged into your FMS, that is all you need to do down there. You can just turn on LNAV, and that will follow your route. Now I'm going to set my IAS, my speed here, to probably, I'll say, 210 knots and go to level change so that will climb depending on my speed as opposed to using the vertical speed up here where I can climb at a specific feet per minute. Once that is set up I can taxi to the runway for takeoff. That is all I have got to do for a for setting up my FMC so let's go. You'll probably want to skip this part as this is the most boring part when you're taxiing to the runway. Not knowing what to do. In fact, stuff that part of the runway. I'm completely going to stuff it. I'm just going to go onto the runway here and take off. I'll be doing an air traffic control tutorial for all parts of the flight take off, landing, in flight, etc. Uh, just to show you what to do with your air traffic control frequencies. Okay, let's get my toga set there. Okay, toga power. I'm probably not going to get off on the runway in time here. 80 knots. Yeah, I probably will actually. A stupid idea to cut off part of the runway, but I could not care less. do my V1 and rotate because I know I'm way past V1 already because I took off such a late part of the runway there. Okay, there we go. So now we're in sky and I'm manually controlling my aircraft. Next, once I've got my flight directions, my altitude, getting up there using vertical speed or level change, and I've got LNAV for my navigation systems, I'm just going to turn on my autopilot to command and I've got nothing on my yoke. My autopilot is completely lining me up now. As you can see, I will start to slow down soon as I'm climbing, depending on my speed. Four level change, yeah, I'm starting to slow down here now as it is climbing higher because I set my speed for 210. So it's basically like auto throttle and climbing at the same time. That is why if you have level change on you cannot use your auto throttle. So here it comes down there I can see where I'm meant to be getting to which is where the L nav is taking me.
Okay, so as you can see, the autopilot is doing its all here to line me up with the white line there, which is my next waypoint, actually. This purple line is where I'm meant to be now. It's lining me up with Orlando as my next waypoint, actually. There's the airport down there. Love Orlando Airport's layout, even though I'm barely ever there in real life. I love how there's just four terminals and the main car parks and all that junk in the middle. So we did the setup tutorial and now the navigation autopilot tutorial setup. There we go, it's just going to bring me around. Okay, that's just gone purple, which means I have reached my uh, first waypoint. So this purple leg is now the leg that the autopilot will take me on. So it's just uh, trying to line me up with it here. And here we go, it's now going to bring me on my final turn towards it. then you do not need to change while level change is on and you get up to your cruising altitude. You do not need to switch off level change, it will automatically switch to altitude hold and hold your altitude until you change it for approach. When changing, changing for approach you want to lower your altitude, just lowering normally with your mouse and then you set your vertical speed to whatever you want and then you would press vertical speed go down but I'm not going to do that now because I need to have level change on to climb I will do a descent tutorial as well though okay well I won't keep you held here any longer just to watch it line me up with the end so I do hope this video was helpful to you, if it was please leave a thumbs up and comment down below for any tutorials in FSX, pre P3D or X-Plane that you might want to see regarding planes, air traffic control, VATSIM, anything, autopilot, any tutorials you might want to see, just tell me down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video.